All right. Hey guys, this is Lutrum and I'm joined today by Joe and John. This is our new podcast. It's called 404 AM. Uh, today we're going to talk about Facebook. Uh, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, no. I'm Joe. Hello. I'm John. We're talking about Facebook. Oh no, not Facebook. We're talking about uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah, man. that's what I thought. Okay. All right. What do you guys think of the new layout? They um. They asked me about it before, like, <laughs> you know when, um, when they were first trying it out? Yeah. They, uh, oh, I've got new subscriptions. <laughs> they, um, they sent, they, they, I tried it out, I had a look at it, I thought it was horrible, so I decided not to keep it. Mm. But apparently, YouTube decided that it's good, for, good enough for everyone, and I'm really unhappy. I think I most the old one. I think most people aren't happy. I mean, what's the main thing you don't like about it, John? Um, the fact that I can't see my recommended videos anymore. And that half the time I used to go on YouTube was just to watch my recommended videos because they didn't make any sense and I thought they were funny. But now I can't even see them on there anymore, so I don't know what's going on. What it shows me is my friends on YouTube and what they favorited. So, well, people just got like. I don't know, I don't see the point of having friends on YouTube, I think it's stupid. No. You can change it so it says to it does just subscriptions, but Yeah. You know, like I put, I liked it how it was before, I had subscriptions recommended and then all the top viewed before in three different blocks. It was very nicely set out. It was it didn't look as pretty apparently, but it's all right. Well they changed Facebook yeah, as well, haven't they? Well they changed it once and they changed it again. Probably change um, Facebook, um, YouTube again. It might do. I yeah. hope it gets changed back because you're not, not liking like it. it. Not well, really. the thing is, uh, on my face, on my YouTube, it does have recommended videos, but it does not. Want, I'm sure it doesn't. Where? Um, if you just click all activity, apparently it does. Yeah, it does. Uh, as yeah, but I have to start clicking stuff, man. <laughs> Don't want to be doing that. Well, I think, what, what do you guys think? I mean, it's starting to become like a really more c- commercialized uh, sort of website. I mean, it's just, yeah, they've, they've, Vivo, for instance, fucking ridiculous. I mean, the most annoying thing recently that happened to me was that um, I went, I think it was a news channel, and I went, <laughs> the video was about, I think, 20 seconds long. And they they made me watch thirty seconds of advert for twenty seconds of video footage. Uh, it's just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, but the thing that you can argue against this guy, right? like, sure it's commercial and like there's a lot of adverts on it. Fair enough. But that's it keeps it going, you know. I mean, where else can you go on the internet to get all this shit? Like, it's such a great community for all these different types of people on there. There's YouTube's people. Kind of funny. There's people on here, like there's YouTubers and shit, but making videos has become their main source of income, all through these advertisements. So it's good. People can do what they want, you know? You've got amateur filmmakers on here making sketches, making vlogs, making little dramas and shit through these advertisements. That's true, but you you can't really use copyrighted... um... You know, music, you have to kind of... I mean, it does kind of encourage people to make their own material, even if it's just a bit of, like, music in the background. But at the same time... You know, it's... It's the same with any type of media. If you were to make a film, you've got to get permission from the owners of the music to put that music in your film. It's all the same. I guess... Hold your own stuff. I guess if if you if you are making money from your YouTube videos, then I guess you could implement that. But if you're not, then I really don't see the point. YouTube hemorrhages money. Before I remember when YouTube it didn't have any adverts on or anything. It wasn't even owned by Google. It wasn't even that long ago. So for some people, they buy the what I got. I remember when YouTube first started. It had no adverts on or anything. And now since Google's taken over, it's just loaded with adverts. They do need adverts on it, though. Plus, the amount of crap that's uploaded to it is unreasonable. you got people uploading pictures of their, like, videos of their dogs walking down the road for, like, two seconds. And they're going to they're gonna have to pay to host that. So, 
Mm-hmm. It's, it's, the adverts need to be on there. If the adverts weren't there, they'd charge they'd charge people to view and upload videos. Oh, yeah. I think I think so they need to be there. They should have like um, a YouTube paid account where you don't have to watch adverts, but they probably make more money off because there's so many people are like it's so into YouTube they would rather pay to watch adverts. I don't know. I doubt they'd pay to be honest. No, not to not just to watch adverts. You get more space. You get or say um you buy shares in Google and then they yeah. give you certain rights on the YouTube page. I don't know. I like the idea because I've recently uploaded some videos myself um, with with kind of music that isn't really modern. I'm talking about like um, an orchestra song, like a, a classical song. Yeah. Uh, and I think it was a, a really old, old uh, 1960s song. These aren't big popular songs, but they're kind of popular themes, if you know what I mean. I'm talking about like awful tuna and, um, you know, that old Western tune. Yeah. The, the the good, the bad, and the ugly, or whatever it's called. <laughs> and I mean, it still lets me use the songs. I'm not using the whole songs. I'm using like little cuts out, cut like snippets of it. And I mean, it still let me use the songs, but it's got adverts next to them. I think that's a good idea. I, th- I don't think they should be. They and should it puts like a little iTunes link at the bottom. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's not. It's not that's exactly. Fine. Exactly, it's completely fine. I just don't like the idea of you uploading a song like a copyright song, and then it says, no, you can't do that. I think it's perfectly fine to add your own material to, to a song. I mean, you can still make the money. You know. Then you've got the people that would upload oh, an entire no. album from an artist. Yeah, that's, I guess that's wrong. Well, I, would, I would be against that, personally, if I was an artist. <laughs> but, I mean, it kind of raises the issue that if you're, if you're like um. If if you're a kind of a artist with a with a fixated kind of philosophy, do you really want um, your good honourable music about Jesus Christ being on a video about uh, pornographic satanic? Uh, <laughs> I don't people. understand. That's kind of extreme what you're saying. Yeah, I know, but I mean, would, would people really like? For instance, um, it could be a, a show about. I don't know, something that the artist objects to. They wouldn't really like their music to be associated with the material. Like, if I was in a band, because I'm from Wales, and uh, so we made it to pr- promote English superiority over Welsh people. <laughs> yeah, you'd be against that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'll be, yeah. Mm. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done this yet, man. Not yet. Soon. All right. Uh, is there anything but, else we want to we want to raise? Any other topics? Everyone about? always bad mouths Bebo music, like their videos and stuff. Mm. Justin Bebo. Why do they bad mouth Bebo? I don't understand. I know. So you saying Justin Bebo? No, Bebo. What? Bebo. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, what about it? Well, why is, why is it bad mouth? Why do people hate it? I think it's alright. I mean, I can listen to songs if I want to. Cause they're well, all... well, they kind of... I mean, they some of them, they kind of... Um, they bleep them out. They bleep out some of the swear words and some of the more explicit songs. Yeah, but songs. it's the same if you listen to the radio, man. What is Vivo? Is it like a production company or something? Or yeah. Company? Oh. It's, it's just for artists to host music, I guess. I think yeah, you, you've made you've made a good point, John. So it's all right that they've got adverts. Oh, well, every video has adverts now. I can watch any video and an advert pop up. It's not always the thirty minutes that I can't skip, but it's still there. True, very true. 